Hey guys, Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. Got some great tips for you today. We're gonna to be talking about three ways you guys can build up more likes on your Facebook fan page, not your personal page, a business uh, Facebook page. And as always guys, I'm coming at you guys live on Periscope. If you haven't checked out Periscope yet on your iPhone or Android phone, just go download the Periscope app from the App Store. You can follow me uh, at Building Social. And uh, when I do these broadcasts, your phone will chirp and you can come in and ask questions uh, live in real time. It's pretty cool. And just a little service announcement. So you guys know this Wednesday, November 11th, 8 o'clock p.m., I'm hosting a live complimentary Facebook marketing workshop. I'm going to be talking about how to build up likes, how to do Facebook ads, Facebook groups, all the things you need to know to build up your business on Facebook, things that have worked for me and I've learned uh, from myself and helping clients. And to get in on that workshop, you can sign up at buildingsocialproof.com. So head on over to buildingsocialproof.com. Love to see you on that workshop. The last one I thought maybe 20 people would show up. I had almost 100 live people show up to that workshop. It was so much fun. We got a chat room. Everybody was chatting it up, changing ideas. A lot of fun. Love to see you there. And I'll be giving you guys my best stuff, I promise. So. Okay, so Facebook likes, let's get into it. There's basically, in my mind, three ways you can build up likes on your Facebook page. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody watching this scope knows what a like is. It's when you create a fan page for your website or your business and um, people can like your page. And when they like it, what it does is that's the first step in building up something called affinity to your brand. Now, how Facebook works is as they like your page, now when you post something on it, that person has an opportunity to see your post. If they like your posts and start liking more of your stuff, they build a higher affinity to your page and they're gonna see more of your stuff as you post it more often. So the takeaway, guys, is building up that like is that first step in building a relationship with someone on Facebook. So how do we do that? Well, like I said, there's basically three ways. The first way is you do all the work. You have customers, you have a website, you are going out and promoting your Facebook page to people and asking them to like your page. You know what? It works pretty well. But the problem is, is you're doing all the work and you can only get so many of your friends and customers and website visitors to like your page. So that is a great strategy to grow it. But Facebook's not doing anything at all to help you grow it. You're basically doing all the work and bringing everyone to the party. So. That should be a pretty obvious way, and I think most people doing that technique can get, you know, 50, 100, maybe two or 300 likes doing that. There's a widget you can add to your, um, to your web page or blog uh, that'll also do it. So that's the first way. The second way, uh, and people can fall into this trap, is to go on uh, websites you find on Google and pay like $5 for a 1,000 likes and actually buy likes to your page. I've talked about this. It can be a good strategy, but you gotta know there's a really bad part to it. And the bad part is, is if you go on a site like Fiverr and buy a thousand likes for five bucks, you've just made a deal with the devil. They'll give you your thousand likes. They're gonna come from some place like Pakistan or India or China or someplace. And these people don't like your page at all. They got tricked into liking it. And well, how's that screw you up? How it screws you up is now when you post stuff to your blog or, or your fa Facebook fan page, guess what? Nobody likes your stuff. Nobody comments it. Facebook thinks, wow, this page is awful. I'm going to stop showing it to people. So it just kills everything you want to do with Facebook going forward. Don't do it, guys. Hey, guys, welcome to The Scope. I am recording this for all my YouTube viewers right now. And I want to let you know, Wednesday, I'm having a Facebook workshop. You can sign up at buildingsocialproof.com. Yep, and um, uh, I'm going to be going deeper on topics like this. So the second one that you don't want to do is buying off sites like Fiverr and buying a lot of likes. It'll kill your reach. It'll kill your growth of your page going forward. It's like... It's like pouring cancer on your page, so don't do that. Do not buy those kind of likes. Yes, thanks, Jamie P. Buildingsocialproof.com, guys. You can sign up for my um, Facebook marketing workshop this Wednesday. Okay, so the third way, the way you guys should be doing it, is you can buy likes directly off of Facebook. You can go up and set up a like campaign where you can just, Facebook will help you build up likes provided that you pay them. Now, that's one way to do it. I don't recommend doing that. What I recommend you do is you set up a Facebook ad campaign and you figure out what a good conversion would be. I tell you, 
put people on an email list. That's the best conversion you can possibly do on Facebook. So what you're gonna do, is it worth buying them? No, it's not worth buying likes at all. Don't buy likes directly, and I'll tell you why more on the workshop, but you don't wanna buy them directly because the value of a like really isn't all that much. What you wanna do is set up your campaign to build an email list, okay? Now here's the cool thing, is when you're running that campaign to build up an email list, guess what? Some people who see your ad are gonna like your page. It's a side effect. It's like a dividend for running ads is you get these likes building up. As you are rocking Facebook campaigns, you're gonna get dozens and dozens of people every single day liking your page. Whether you want it or not, it's just gonna happen. So that's the best way to build up likes is using it as a side effect from your Facebook ad campaigns. It'll just happen, you don't even have to worry about it. You are busy working on building your business on Facebook through ads, and lo and behold, you're building up a pile of likes because your ad's been showing to hundreds of thousands of people. Now, once you get to that point, you can start posting good, popular stuff to your Facebook page, like I tell you, five to eight times a day, and by doing that, other people are gonna share that stuff, and it's gonna kinda spread around on Facebook, and you're gonna build up likes that way too. So. Facebook ads is a side benefit to your uh, conversion optimized campaigns. That's the first way I recommend. The second way, just by getting on there, sharing good stuff, you're gonna build up your likes naturally. And again, guys, I'm gonna cover this in a lot more detail Wednesday night. Go sign up for my workshop, uh, Facebook Marketing 101, I like to call it, at buildingsocialproof.com. I'll see you guys Wednesday night. We'll get into it even more then. Take care, bye-bye.